Hey guys, today is uh, November the 29th of 2018, and I want to go over a technique I use that I learned from WDGAN and other material and sources in regards using market geometry. We all know that WDGAN used geometry, mathematics, and other esoteric techniques to gauge and forecast the market. This technique is pretty simple. If you have a drawing tool in your trading platform, you could give it a shot, back test it, and see if it works out for you. So let's get right into it. This is the Aussie dollar. As we know, we made a swing high on January the uh, 26th and got a nice little pullback. So what you want to do is wait for a nice pullback, one that you can notice and see, and then see if price action closes above that swing low. And what you do is, you could probably get an RSI to see where it's oversold, and this is a daily chart, by the way. So you will get the drawing tool, the ellipse, and you will put it from that swing high and then that swing low. You will get a date marker or some kind of marker and right at the end of the uh, circle you would mark it. Uh, let's do that again. I'll take this off. Let's mark it right here. And there we go. Lock it. And then you have a possible change in trend right here. And the next thing you could do is, since that's a swing low, or what I call a first impulse wave, that's a first impulse wave. This is a key date to watch for a possible change in trend. When I say possible, it's because it could happen and it may not happen. You lock that in, lock it, and go. So you got two dates from here, here, from here, here, going back and forth. You got a short term and you got a long term. And now let's see what price action does. So we hit a possible change in trend there. Uh, technically, you wouldn't short it there because you don't know if it's going to continue going higher. But what you want to do is wait for the next day candle and see what happens. You got a red candle. It really didn't take the low. Uh, if you're a little risky, you would open a short position because... Technically, this is supposed to be a possible change in trend lower. Since it's going up, then it should probably be going down. Uh, went kind of sideways. That was like a weekend right there. And then, boom. Took out the low. Maybe there you want to go in. And there it goes. Continue. So you're probably in already short. You're already going in. Profit. Probably trailing your stop. Before we continue, what you want to do is now you want to take your lips and take it to that. Well, this one. That's your swing high. And from swing high to swing high, this is going to be an important day to watch. So what you do is you take that off. Lock that in, lock that date. So that's a date you want to look at in the future, just using this first, second impulse. And you want to take this down here, and this is going to be another date you want to watch. So you'll take a marker or some kind of line, mark that date, and leave it there. So we have this one, this one, and this one. Now let's see how the uh, price action goes. So we hit our 
But we're getting close. This is coming up now. So price action puts a low there. And let's see what happens. Even pushes lower. So you got a cluster of two dates. So you probably want to wait to see what happens. Maybe this day is going to be the turning point. Since it's going down uh, using this uh, technique, you're looking for maybe that it's going to go higher now. So now we put a kind of like a doji. You'll still wait. Another doji. So that means that the pressure going down has stalled. It slowed down the momentum. Now it's kind of consolidating slow. And that's a good sign because maybe now it may want to go higher. Uh, weekend came. So you probably didn't want to be in it because you could have, you know, Monday or whatever, Sunday, uh, just could have just dropped. Boom. That's when you get in. When you see that the, uh, the next day, bullish candle, close positive, you'll get in. I would have gone in right there. And before we continue, the next thing you want to do is uh, adjust your lips. And now, that's a swing low. You can mark this date right here. We'll see how it all pans out. Locked it. So your dates will move in, in, in this software, but you could just mark it on your software. And we go, and now we take this swing from here to here. So this is another date you want to you want to watch. This is, so it's a cluster. So we'll see how, how uh, price action gets there. We lock it. So we got a cluster here. And then you got a one, two, three. Number three is very important. Double D Gan spoke a lot about three patterns of three. And what you want to do is now you want to take that whole wave of one, two, three. And this is going to be a key date to watch. A very important date to watch would be this one right here. Let's take the uh, snap off here. And you lock it. So you've got a couple of possible changes in trend just from those three waves. You got that one right there. You got that. Well, there's one here, but you know, it's too close. There's gonna be a cluster. That one, yeah, you got that one. Low. And then the complete one right here. So let's see what happens. And you could continue doing this, you know, as price action, you know, continues moving. Uh, you can see. So that's the next one right here. So let's see what price action does. Continues. You're long. Uh, it's gone long. It's looking good. You're trailing your stop. You know, putting it below on each candle. And looking good. Looks like it may go over up to here. Maybe this could be the turning point. You continue. Boom. You probably got stopped out if you had it somewhere around here. Or if you have it here and it pushes lower, it's going to get stopped out. You definitely got stopped out if you had it here. Or if you were trailing it up halfway. So let's say you're out. It's going down. It never got to here. So it was kind of early, the turn. Uh, you can see that sometimes it doesn't work out. Uh, it looks like a weekend, like a nice doji. So maybe this could be a nice opportunity to go. And maybe this could be your target as a swing trade. Uh, it goes. I'm going to continue just because I'm running out of time. I want to make this sh short video. And it's going sideways. You're kind of watching it. And it looks like it's drifting lower, kind of sideways, consolidating. Uh, weekend came in. Uh, that's probably a Monday. Uh, still consolidating. Boom. Maybe you'll get in there and then this would be your target. Uh, probably didn't stop you out. Just kind of sideways. There we go. Now it's good. You're long. You're in there. You're in there. And then here, you probably want to get out. Lock in profit. Is that's a possible 
change in trend from a three point wave. Continues and it sold off. So that's the uh, strategy or technique I use using the ellipse. Hopefully, you like this video. Subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll uh, keep you posted on some techniques and tricks I. I've learned through the years using Dolly Gans price and time technical analysis.